Speaking of ballpark food, if your experience with the foods at the ballpark has not been memorable, well, chances are you haven't been to T-Mobile Park in some time. From tacos to poke and all the smoked meat in between, it is a veritable feast. And the man responsible for all this deliciousness is right here, T-Mobile Park chef Javier Rosa. Thank you for coming in the studio. Thank you for having me here all the time. You know, it's been a long time waiting, but I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited. Last time we were together, we were at the park, and you cooked up at, like, almost everything you make. It was such a beautiful spread. But what are we making today? Well, we are celebrating Heritage Week this week. I mean, next week, we have a next Wednesday, a Heritage Day. Mm -hmm. Heritage Day of me as being as a Latin person. I mean, I like to celebrate this day and then bring it up what the Latin people are eating these days. Yeah. And then this is something that I, uh, is in my heart because when I went to Venezuela a long time ago when I was a kid, I had this for the first time. And that's called arepas. And then I love it. You can find the still in any street food cart. You found mm -hmm. them. But I like to have my own version. And then one of the players in the clubhouse, uh, Suarez, he loved them. And then once in a while we bring our repas to him and then all the players jump in. And They're they like, what is too. that? I want some of they, that. They, they want to try it. And that is something that is so simple to do at home as well. And that's what I bring something to you guys. That way you can learn how to do it at home in a way everybody will enjoy it as well. I love it because I'm looking at the arepas you've already made. And they're not the kind that I usually get sometimes in the freezer section, which are these tiny little things with barely any filling. You make the filling, and you make them with the the best, the only. This is I'm telling you, there's so make. many, so many brands, but this one for me is the best one. I mean, you only need some warm water, salt, pepper, and just the flour, and you start mixing until you get the consistency that you're looking for, mm -hmm. and then you form the reba, and then we have some already cooked already. I mean, just a little bit of butter. I use that's what I use. Just I don't the like. To, to sizzle I, don't, it up. I don't like to use too much oil. Just the butter, and then you sizzle them for both sides, and mm -hmm. then when they're ready to go, you put them out, and then you make the mix. We're gonna do a little chicken mix right now. Okay. Uh, Wasacaca sauce is a sauce that they use in Venezuela. It's pretty much like a guacamole with a little bit of more uh, garlic. It's you have the spice. garlic spice coming mm -hmm. out, and then a little bit more of a little mayonnaise, last minute, just to make. I am you see? literally drooling. Okay, so you take about, what, a handful? A handful, you make a little ball, and then after that, just like press it down with your own hands, form them. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but just round it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, the less perfect. <laughs> after you put the stuff in and you eat it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, exactly. You, know I mean? you see, you have the form and then you sear them. That's what we have here. And then ah. a little five minutes each side, slow temperature, the way they cook inside and they don't okay. burn. And that's what you're looking for. And because you're using butter and not oil, do you want to keep it at a lower temperature? Lower temperature. Okay. You want exactly you want exactly to cook not only the outside, but you want to cook the inside of the rim. Right, right, right. That's okay. the most important part. Got it. Okay. And then if we go here, I don't know if you want to help me out yes. a little bit. I'm your sous chef, chef. Hey, I want to make the chicken. Okay. That was like the called reina pepiada. The reina pepiada is really classic Venezuela arepa. We take some chicken breast. Mm -hmm. I like to boil them. I use the chicken breast with oh. the bone in because they got some more flavor and more moist. Okay. And then you got some chicken breast. You okay. just cook it and shred it. All right. And then you're going to just do a little bit of cilantro. Okay. It's already chopped here. And then, like I said, the wasacaca sauce is just like a little guacamole, you see? So guacamole, garlic, per, uh, parsley, and some cilantro. You put a nice pomegranate. How, you you, how do you get it so, I mean, it's not very thick. Do you uh, cut do you it put it, yeah, You put everything in the robot cup, in the blender. Got and it. that's it. You put all the ingredients. Like I said, it's like a one, like for example, one avocado, uh, one bunch of cilantro, three mm -hmm. cloves of garlic, and then uh, you got the avocado here. It's okay. ready to go as well, and then you got the avocado. Oh, you just put the fresh avocado right fresh in there. Fresh avocado. You got avocado in the sauce, and you put avocado fresh as well okay. in the mix. I'm okay with that. That's I've got about like for. six avocados that need to be eaten today. So Absolutely. Do no. you have a secret for knowing when an avocado is ready? Because it's hard in the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> getting avocados up here, it's hard to tell. It is. Honestly, you know, you have to be lucky sometimes. You don't have to touch them. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't have any soft spots. If any soft spot, that means a little, uh, it's, 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 rot it's rotting in that part. Make sure it's hard. Okay. But at the same time, that you can pinch a little bit. If okay. it's too hard, it's still, like, uh, still not right. But then okay. when you can like push a little bit, it's going to be right. Somebody said if you pop off the little stem and it's a nice color. Yeah, that's too as well. But I mean, like I said, you need to touch you it. You need to touch it. it. Okay. And, you need, and sometimes right. you need to be lucky with it. Just mix it up nicely. Okay. Just mix yes, it up sir. nicely. Okay. I'm going to start taking some of the repas here to start. I don't want to smush my avocado too much because I, I kind of no, like that. No, you want to feel that avocado as well. Okay. You want to make sure that you just press it down. But oh, you want me time. to smush it all? Yeah, I just smush it right. a little bit. Just then get I mean, it in there. Then at that point, you can just put a little bit more sauce. You look at the chicken, and then you see some twice pile. You still want to put some more sauce. Okay. And then you cover everything up. Yes. And at that point, you pretty much you got everything that you need. Just mix it up nicely. How am I doing? You're looking amazing. I don't, <laughs> Thank I don't. you. Probably you practiced before, but I don't know. It looks like amazing <laughs> for me. 
<laughs> and then I say, we're gonna have one of the arepas here. Okay. And then sometimes what I do is like a arepa, when it comes out, just a little cut here. So just like a little bit a off the top. A little pocket, just to open a little pocket of the arepa. Okay. And right there, just like stuff it. All right, I'm getting right in there. You're gonna put that nice spoon. Like that? Yep. More? So a little bit less, in the way you don't break it there again. <laughs> I, I know you wanna have it full, but you can go slow first. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> and then at that point, you're gonna put some queso fresco. Okay. You're gonna and put, what kind of cheese? It's a queso fresco, it's like a white cheese. Okay. And then you're gonna put a little bit more of the sauce that you have in the bottom part. I'm here for all the sauce. And then I will give you a napkin because it's going to be. <laughs> because I already grabbed the napkin. I got the napkin for you and you're going to you. tell me. He knows me. How you feel about it? Um, so while, while I'm eating this, let's talk about the fact that you are the executive chef for T-Mobile Park. What does that mean? How, how has that felt? Well, like I told you at the beginning of the season, I'm proud to be working for the Mariner. I mean, mm -hmm. I was proud before. Imagine now we had the winning section. Right mm -hmm. now, we are looking forward to being in the playoff in the postseason. I can't wait to be on that stage of life and mm -hmm. then be working for them. I played baseball too when I was a young guy. Oh. I mean, I love to work in the kitchen. Imagine myself walking in the ballpark and then I see the ballpark. I love to play baseball. I'm a chef as well. I'm proud to work for the Mariners. I mean, I go work every day. I mean, so I don't take the day off to the whole season, but I can tell you the season has gone so fast to me right now. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing so much great food that I'm excited to continue doing it and go to the postseason and create more food. And then next season we have a lot of big things coming up. We all start uh, weekend that day and then the next year, and then I'm excited to continue and then doing. There's Heritage Month that's coming up too. How important is it to celebrate our heritage through food? I'm just asking you questions because I want to keep eating. No, too. definitely. And we have the skills to do as well. We haven't tried the meat one as well. <laughs> no, no. But I tell you, I mean, for me, it's as a Latin guy, it's, it's amazing because I can bring all my Latin uh, roots to the stadium. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have all the clubs that we have. I had to create 80 menus for the clubs. Oh, wow. And I always like to include something Latin because some people all the way in the West Coast sometimes haven't tried anything from the Caribbean or something from mm -hmm. Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. And I like to bring that up, especially yeah. this coming Wednesday. My whole men in the clubs, all the clubs, All Star, the premium clubs, and the players' lunch is going to be a combination of all the uh, Caribbean cuisines, oh, Latin neat. America, Central America, and the whole men is going to present from a whole circling pig from October Sala. It's going to be a whole circling pig at the Caribbean station, and the people will be seeing that live. Wow, that's and fancy. Pants. Know, I mean, it's going to be a lot of food that we're going to be doing that day, but I'm going to bring all the uh, Latin food to present to our guests today. Do you ever, I only have a couple seconds left, do you ever mm -hmm. take requests from the players? Every time. Every I mean, time. every time right now that they know that they can have it now, they just make their own list. Yeah. Chef, what about you do this for this day? And then right now the Latin players are having it now, and then everybody joined right now, and everybody want to have the food for the Latin players now. Imagine that. <laughs> and everyone, you said, has fallen in love with the arepas. Everybody fell in love and with the arepas. And Chef is sharing the recipe for the arepas with you all on New Day's website. Thank you so much, Chef. Pleasure to be here, and looking forward it's to next time. It's been great. All right.